Okay, so we need to, to continue then with, with the next speaker. And uh, that is uh, Tim Schlender. Uh, hello, Tim, you are with us? Yes, yes, yes I'm yes. here. Yes. Thank yes. you, Madeleine. Yes, and you are a researcher of the National Ozone Monitoring Research and Education Center in, at the Belarusian State University. And you will give a presentation on how geophysical factors impact climate change in the Northern Hemisphere. Yes, yes. Yes, so please, welcome. Yes, I, I hope you are well healthy with the time. <laughs> hear me, hear me? Okay. Absolutely, yes. Uh, my screen, you see? Good. Yes, it works, thank you. <laughs> Today we will talk about the geophysical factors uh, of climate change in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, in particular about solar activity and solar terrestrial connections. Uh, because the geophysical factors can also include the rotation of the Earth itself in the of other planets and the genius process uh, inside the Earth and so on. But we will focus on the Sun because, as you know, it's an external source of energy for the Earth's atmosphere and hydrosphere. And uh, first of all, I uh, know uh, your feelings about climate change in your regions. And uh, you must write three basic words uh, that describe climate change personally for you, your area or city. Uh, you can uh, write uh, menti.com and uh, input password uh, 57091553. Uh, I, uh, uh, first, I would like to tell you a little about the background of the study of the sun and solar terrestrial connection. Uh, the first who scientific showed the activity of the sun in the form of solar flares were the German astronomer Samuel Schwab and the Swiss astronomer Rudolf Wolf in uh, 1843. On the right side of the slide, you can see the solar growth and fall cycle of flares in 11 years. Uh, today is a uh, 25 solar cycle. It began in December uh, 2019 and will peak in 2095. In general, the cycle have a different range of variations uh, of the long period. In the slide below, uh, you can see that this cycle have minimum, such as the mounder minimum in the mid 17th century and the delta minimum in the early 19th century, with, uh, where another source is named as the Little Ice Age. The current period is characterized by the maximum solar activity since the end of the 19th century, where active growth began in the middle of the 20th century. But since 21st century, there has been a slight decline in solar activity, especially 23 and 24 cycles. But according to NASA forecast, the current 25 cycle will be more powerful than 23 and 24 cycles. So, we expect a strong increase in solar flares. Alexander Chizhevsky, a Russian scientist who was the first to show the dependence of many processes on Earth from the sun, he investigates the dependence of atmospheric variables, epidemics, revolutions, and other social processes on solar activity. You can see the graph of grip epidemics in Sweden and Russian uh, in early 20th century and solar activity. As a result, it turned out that the onset of the any epidemics occurs two, three years before or after the solar maximum. And maybe as the COVID pandemic is also connected with this, uh, since it began just at the time of the beginning of solar activity of the 25 solar cycle. And now we will talk directly about the influence of the sun on the climate and uh, what are the mechanisms of the influence. Uh, there are three broad categories, includes changes in the total solar radiation, ultraviolet radiation and galactic rays. The mechanisms were variation in total solar radiation directly with the troposphere, left part of the slides. Uh, this. Uh, Another mechanism that indirectly affects the upper atmosphere, such as changes in solar ultraviolet radiation and possible uh, solar energy particles. Uh, when the solar energy in the form of the UV and uh, energy particles penetrates into the upper troposphere, various chemical electric processes begin, which determine the structure, composition, and con 
dynamics of the atmosphere. The key element in this mechanism is ozone, which protects all living organisms and us also from short UV radiation. The ozone mechanism of solar terrestrial connections influence the development of dangerous meteorological phenomena, such as heavy frosts and heavy snowfalls, especially in winter hemisphere. And finally, mechanisms of variation in galactic cosmic rays to climate change. Uh, galactic cosmic rays are caused by supernova explosions. Uh, this rays affect the uh, development of cloudness in the lower atmosphere. Uh, this map shows trends uh, in mean surface air temperature are over the 60 years period from 1960 to 29th. I notice that the uh, Arctic is red, indicated that the trend uh, um, of air temperature increased in or nearly 4 degrees Celsius across much of the Arctic, uh, which is larger than for other parts of the globe. In uh, 2020 uh, was most warmest year, uh, the most notable and uh, uh, runs was absorbed across northern Asia, particularly in Siberian Arctic, but temperature were more than five degrees Celsius above average. Siberian had communicated in late June when it reached 38 degrees Celsius at, at Verkhoyansk, polo frozen if you know. This filled the most active wildfire seasons in 18-year-long uh, data record, as estimated in terms of carbon dioxide emissions released from fires. Europe experienced drought and heat waves, also this were generally not as intense in 2019. Uh, now, in menti.com, uh, you can choose the current percent of the impact of natural factors to climate change, uh, what uh, uh, main reasons is the climate change the natural or anthropogenic contributions? According to the Vimero assessment of climate change, the highest radiation of force and two is made by anthropogenic sources in the form of methane, methane uh, carbon dioxide, etc. And natural factors are only a uh, small part, about a uh, very small part <laughs> uh, comparison with anthropogenic radiation forcing. Total anthropogenic radiation forcing uh, relative to 1750 uh, distinguished in 2011 uh, to raton meters. In this uh, picture, you can see solar activity uh, and uh, global temperature anomaly and uh, carbon dioxide line, uh, blue line, carbon dioxide. And you can see that uh, a sunspot number uh, not uh, influence to global air temperature because uh, line drop falls and the uh, temperature growth increase, yeah. Uh, that means that uh, uh, rate of changes of carbon dioxide and temperature was increased several times last 60 years. Uh, you know that uh, monorail protocols and uh, were signed to intend global actions. Again, is on reduction in climate change observed and modeling column ozone in the Arctic. Uh, without the success of the Montreal Protocol, a deep ozone hole could have formed in Arctic in 2011. Bottom slide, uh, modeled ozone without moral protocol. That means that uh, uh, our actions on the right way. And now finally, uh, we will talk about such a phenomenon as ozone mechanism solar terrestrial connection as a sudden stratospheric woman or beast from the east, how it named in Europe. When the temperature in the stratosphere rise sharply by 40 degrees Celsius, 
ozone concentration increase and the wind change in direction. As a result, it caused an unstable state of the troposphere, in particular jet streams, and leads to severe cold from northern east and heavy snowfalls in Europe, also in the Baltic region. Sudden status of warming appears every two, three years only in winter hemisphere. This winter and uh, 20 uh, years was sudden stratospheric warming. Uh, such phenomena makes a significant contribution to average monthly temperature in winter. Uh, the number of mayor warming was increased doubled over the past 20 years, then a period from 1950 to 1999. And conclusions and perspectives. Main conclusions and perspectives uh, you can see on slides on your screen. I hope I understand. Okay, Tim, thank you very much for an interesting overview of the influence of the solar. So here we have a, a question for you as well. Uh -huh. uh, what would you suggest as a good answer to those climate change skeptics that wrongly believe that the solar activity is the main cause of climate change? Uh, thank you for question. Uh... The main argument uh, that uh, uh, work uh, of Stotts, who uh, finds that uh, natural contribution for uh, recently warming uh, consists is uh, not higher uh, about not higher thirty percent. It's a natural solar contribution for global warming. So that means that anthropogenic factors uh, contribution to warming consist 17 persons. Okay, uh, thank you very much. We, I don't think that we had any more questions and it's, it's time to go on. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Tim. Uh, maybe there will be some more questions. Just have a look in the chat and maybe you can answer by, by written if there are any more later on. Uh, 